Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I have a video on some, let me just cover up my address. I've got um, some Lola products that just come in for this month. And I'm going to create a look based on what's in here. And I got these three. And I believe it's their new um, matte long lasting lipsticks. They've just released a new range with like new colours and stuff. So I've got these two colours. These are the matte long lasting lipsticks. And I've got it in 114 Red Velvet and 111 Purple Rock. Now today I'm feeling the purple. So I'm going to base my look around the purple. And then I've got a Lash Extension Mascara. And a Mascara Lengthening 003 Blue. So it's a blue mascara, which is quite nice. Um, and it looks like this. Let's just take it out. So it's an electric blue. Now... Um, I don't usually use coloured mascaras, but I'm going to use it today. I'm going to put this on my lower lash, or my bottom lashes. Um, I'm going to keep the top part black and then the lower part, or the top lashes black and the lower lashes blue. So just to kind of mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to try and create something using basically these two products today. The purple lipstick and the blue mascara. So I'm going to start off by taking the MUA Burning Embers palette and I'm going to take the colour Warmth, which is this one right in the middle here, which is like a soft brown. I'm going to use this as my transition colour first. I'm not exactly sure um, what kind of look I'm going for today. I'm just going to kind of go with it. Okay, so now I'm going to take the colour below that, which is this one here called Wildfire, and I'm going to take that on my finger, and I'm just going to pack this on my eyelid. Um, I'm using this colour specifically because I want a light shimmer before I put on a purple. Um, so my initial idea is to kind of create almost a halo eye, but it's not exactly a halo eye. But I'm just going to be adding purple to the centre of my eyelid and I feel like this colour is a really lovely shimmer, like a shimmery base for the purple that I'm going to put on. And then just blend out those edges so that everything just meshes together really smoothly. And this is with the same brush I applied um, the first colour with. Now with another MUA palette, this is the Tropical Oceana palette. I'm going to take the shade Euphoria. And I'm going this is the like the only purple in this palette. And I want this purple specifically, and I want to use this palette specifically because I haven't touched it yet. Um, so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna basically apply this to the center of my eyelid. So take that, it is a shimmery colour, I'm going to take some of that and then pop it right in the middle here. At first it will look a little odd but you've always got to blend it out to kind of, you know, make it all come together. So. Keep packing it on until you get like the kind of um, pigment that you want it to be at, like how strongly you want it to look. Now back in with my Burning Embers palette, I'm going to take this colour in the corner which is called Fume. It is a soft matte brown and I'm going to use that to define the outer corners of my eyes just to give my eyes a little bit of depth because right now I've just got a blob of colour right in the centre of the eyelid and it just doesn't look you know, shamazing, and I want it to look a great, I want it to look amazing, amazing. So right now I'm just going to put this at the corner of my eyes. I start just where my crease folds, and then I slightly bring it above it, and I push it a little bit into the socket, just so that I kind of have that angled look and just keep adding more brown 
like the more brown or the more you add the darker it's going to get obviously but you've just got to blend it out so that it just doesn't look like a blob on the outer corner of your eyes and just to use as, as an outline I like to drag the brown on my lower lash line so as you can see where I pull it down it has the same angle of it going upwards like that so I want to keep everything in this you know in this place I don't want to go below it I don't want to go too much above it just making sure you follow your lower lash line like that's how you would do your um, eyeliner as well so as you can see just like that it adds a little bit more zhuzh oomph so now it looks a little bit better if you need to clean it up just go ahead take your concealer brush and just clean it up again I follow like my lower lash line and I just drag that up just going back and taking more of that euphoria purple color on just a small angled brush I'm gonna get that and I'm just gonna put that on the center of my lower lash line I always do this but whatever's on my top uh, or on my lid I always copy it and put it on my lower lash line as well so for example if I had blue in the center there will be blue right in the middle of my lower lash line I just like to make everything literally come together and then as always I'm going to take my MUA shimmer highlighter in iridescent gold and I'm going to put this on the inner corner because I just can't live without this like it has to be so bright in my inner corner and so I always connect this on my lower lash line as well it just really makes your eyes pop and then I'm going to take a little bit of that and run that under the arch of my eyebrow as well. With this kind of eye look, I would wear false lashes, but because I don't want my top half to be too heavy than my lower half, so like I don't want this to be too much, so I think I'm just going to use mascara for my top lashes. I'll try and exaggerate it as much as possible, but I'm still gonna use the blue mascara. And I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Lola uh, Makeup 003 Mascara Lengthening, or Lengthening Mascara in blue, and I'm gonna apply this on my lower lashes now I'm terrible at applying things at my lower lashes so let's hope this goes well I really like the brush for this I might have to cop this in uh, black um, okay so I'm just gonna move on to the highlight um, I already have the Lola highlighter in 001 I love this highlighter I'm just not being biased at the moment absolutely not when I say I love something I actually mean it um if I didn't like something I tell you I didn't like it was if it wasn't good enough it wasn't good enough but this I absolutely love this highlighter it is so pigmented just I and I don't even have to even use my liquid highlighter for it to glow that much it already gleams by itself so I'm just gonna take some of that and put it on my top of my cheekbones. It's the most beautiful natural glow I have ever had in my entire life. Goodness me. Do you see that? See what I'm talking about? Pop in. So I put that on my cheekbones and I get my smaller brush and I put that down the bridge of my nose like that. Keep his bow. I love a good Cupid's Bow highlight. Ooh. It just really, you know, brings out the shape so well. And then on the chin. 
And for the blush, I'll be using the Miss Sporty 003 Flushed Pink. Um, just a normal blusher. And I put this basically on my cheekbones, bringing it back towards my hairline, and then lightly on the apples of my cheeks. So most of the pigment I want on the, um, but back here on the cheekbones, bring that back to the hairline, and then lightly just on the cheeks, just a little flush. Then setting my face with the e.l.f. mist and set setting spray. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, begin to do my lips. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Lip Liner in Royal. So it did come all together with the liquid lipstick, which was in Royal. So I'm just gonna use this one because this is the best matching lip liner that I could find. So yeah, the purple is sort of dark, but we're just gonna make it work. That's how you do it. So I'm gonna take the lip liner, I'm going to line my lips. Um, I don't think I'm going to fill it, I might just stick to lining it. Let's just go in with it, even though I look crazy right now. So this is Purple Rock 111. Okay, so this is so velvety and smooth and pigmented. <laughs> okay, so this is the final look using these two Lola Beauty Lola makeup products. Um, I used the blue mascara and the velvet matte lipstick in Purple Rock. Yeah, I mean, I love this. Even though this purple lipstick makes me look hella pale, I still look popping. Um, the pigmentation in this lipstick is absolutely phenomenal. It looks so good. It feels so nice. Doesn't feel drying. Um, so this is the look that I created. I mean, it was pretty like off the dome, random on the spot. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, I do have a discount code with Lola Makeup. I'll put that in my description box. It's kind of always in my description box. That discount code, you get 10% off, and then you just type it in when you have your shopping bag full of what you want, and then you get 10% off all of that. So yeah, it's lovely jubbly, really. Um, so this is it. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.